Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over the Benny Merchantman. Yes, the Benny Merchantman. I've got an 890 jump here just to put the size of it in comparison to a larger ship. So, we have here, obviously the Merchantman, Merchantman and 890 jump. Now, it is smaller than the 890 jump, but it also looks bigger. So, there's quite a few photos that show it sitting on a pad. And the size of the people next to it looks so, so very small. Now, as we know, it's got a massive amount of cargo in it, which is ridiculous. So it's going to be like, obviously, it's a cargo ship. So if you are looking at getting one of these or you have already got one and you're just looking at some informational videos, obviously, it's 160 meters long. It says one, one pilot, three crew, four other crew, and you've got 3,500. 3,584 of SCU. Now that is a ridiculous amount. Like that is a stupid amount of cargo. So it doesn't really tell us anything anything there showing us where anything is. So we're just going to go over this basically with you. Um, so as you can see at the front here, so let's we'll talk about that in a second. So you got one weapons. Okay, so we're going to go from the top. So at the back here, you've got two size 5 laser repeaters that are supposed to face the rear of the ship. So I'm going to say there's going to be a turret shooter to shoot towards the rear. Here on the sides, you've got two retractable uh, size 6 cannons that are controlled by the pilot. Here, I'm not too sure, but there is supposed to be a third one. So I'm not too sure if that would be a third there. Or it's just the other two sort of combining together but this isn't like a really accurate depiction of the ship so it says here one times cf 557 uh, going laser so that would be the two that sit on the back here you got three main thrusters that are just here you got two vtol thrusters so the vtol thruster sits here oh vtol thruster sits here and there so the point of these obviously are to lift off the ground when you're like clearly trying to take off but they are quite big, so it brings me to the point, I wonder if they will be able to like pivot around since they are VTOL thrusters, but they might not, we'll just have to see. So you've also got two times retro thrusters. So I would say that would be these little ones. I don't know, I would I actually have got no idea where these little retro thrusters are. They'll have to be around down the bottom or the top side somewhere. You've got 12 times fixed maneuvering thrusters, so just like every other ship, you've got maneuvering thrusters underneath, on top, and on the sides. You've got two times fuel tanks, which are large. Fuel intake, sorry. You've got two times fuel tanks, which are larger also. You've got one quantum drive that is large. You've got one times jump module, which is large. Uh, quantum fuel tank, large. Two times power plants, large. Two large coolers, and two large shield generators. You've got a large radar, and two medium computer well medium computers so this ship is going to have a lot of use so obviously the first one being a cargo hauling ship now you can use this with a lot of other ships as well that generate sort of uh, components and anything else sort of in that spectrum so obviously you got the endeavor which is i'm getting this purely to use with the endeavor to do piracy since it's got size 6 cannons and it's got those size 5 repeaters to the back which is going to be a really helpful thing in um, like piracy and maybe even some bounty hunting so this is a ridiculous ship like oh there's i think those are the two th um other the other two thrusters there i'm not entirely sure so it would be quite ridiculous to have something of this magnitude with the weapons that it has to use it as a combat ship now having this ship as well if you're going to be using this ship with um, cargo hauling you can take like a polaris like what i'm getting uh, to go with the ship but you could also use this while you're got it around the Endeavour you could also use this to protect the Endeavour with a Polaris and some other ships but that is just a theory and something I would just think about I wouldn't actually take it into real consideration of doing that so we will go over to RSI as you can see here you got the technical overview I would try and get some in-depth information from a brochure or anything but there's nothing in jump point or no brochure on it so obviously 160 meters 160 meter beam 65 meter height uh, large it's a 9.6 million mass 
3584 cargo capacity and that's pretty much it minimum crew for max crew 8 so the hard points here you got a large radar what is that um two medium computers i would say you got the large power plants large coolers shield generators so skipping all of that which we've seen we've got the two size 6 cannons now this says total mounts three so i'm going to say that one at the f in the middle at the front could also be a third cannon i would have to say and then you got the two size fives it doesn't have any missiles so yeah that i would say that the one i originally looked at and zoomed in on this one could possibly be another cannon which would be quite interesting the layout of this ship is pretty good i haven't really seen the internals of it there's not much to see of it at the moment there is a side on view which does give you sort of a decent look at it not nothing special um so if you do want this if you want to acquire this ship i do know that you have to learn banu so you have to learn banu and you have to successfully um come to an agreement on getting this ship and acquiring it so you can't just screw it up you have to purely either get it in game with using banu language or you have to buy it using money so it's not a bad price it's actually pretty decent i was going to either ccu one of my ships for it or probably just try and sell that somewhere else and then buy it from star hanger and then put it on my account but we'll just have to see what happens so like i said the weapons are what they are i'm not don't think they're really confirmed as to what they have set them out to be just yet it's something they're just going to be working on right now um but if you want to get this ship it's going to have a lot of capabilities uh, a lot of uses you can hopefully if they let you rent ships out you could rent one of these out and you could make a hefty little bit of money out of it and you could even put it as a package deal with an endeavor and possibly even a polaris to rent to someone um, at a later date so there's always that so if you really want to get this ship i would definitely suggest it because it's got multiple uses it's a great it looks like a great ship i can't wait till this thing is released and we get some more information on it and i will be releasing detail on it momentarily as it becomes available so this is going to be another series i uh, hope you enjoyed don't forget to check out all my links go to the discord check out channel memberships subscribe as well and i hope you enjoy thank you for watching peace